Welcome to Cloud Application Integration Enablement Videos. In this video, you will learn how to create a process object and use it in a process. To design a business process, you often need to retrieve sets of structured data. For example, instead of separate items for each kind of demographic data, you could have a group that contains name, address, and phone number. These groups are often called objects. Process objects group and structure this data for use in processes and guides. In this video, you will learn how to create a process object, use it in a process. Now let's look at the demonstration on creating and using the process object. This is the Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services login screen. Enter your credentials and click Login. Select Application Integration Service from the list of available services. For this demonstration, we have created a project named Tutorials and a folder named Process Object. Click New. Select Process Object and click Create. The Process Object opens for editing. In the Properties section, Name specifies a unique name for the Process Object that identifies it in the Process Designer. We will enter customer information as the name of the process object. Description is an optional field and specifies a brief description of the process object. In the fields section, we will add four fields that define a customer. Enter customer ID in the name and label fields and click add field. Similarly, we have added customer first name, customer last name, and customer phone as shown here. Click Save to save the process object. The process object is now ready to be used in a process. We will now see how to use this process object in a process. We will show this through two processes, one where we use the process object as an input and the other where we use the process object in the Applies To field. First, we'll create a process that takes a process object as an input. Click New select processes and click create a design palette opens where you can design the process the start and end steps are added by default in the general tab enter a name for the process in the start tab select http soap for binding to configure this process as an http soap process Select the Allow Anonymous Access Radio button and select Cloud Server from the Run on drop-down list. In the Input Fields tab, we'll add an input field named Customer In of type Customer Information, which is the process object that we created earlier. In the Output Fields tab, We'll add output fields as shown here. Add an assignment step between the start and end steps and enter assign output as the name. In the assignment tab, click add field. Select customer ID output. Set value to field customer ID. Similarly, set values for the customer full name and customer phone output fields as shown here. We have used xQuery concat function to obtain full name of the customer. Save and publish the process. Go to Process Properties. Click View Swagger file to view the service definition. Please note the input and output for this service. Click Copy to copy the service URL. We will use Postman REST Client to invoke the service. Paste the URL in the Postman REST Client. Select Post from the list. And enter the input request. Click Send. The result is displayed here. 
Back on the Informatica Cloud window, click to open the Application Integration Console window. Notice that an ID is generated for each executed process. You can get more details on process execution by clicking on ID link. We'll now create a process that takes the process object as applies to. Click New. Select Processes and click Create. In the General tab, enter a name for the process. In the Start tab, select HTTP SOAP for binding to configure this process as an HTTP SOAP process. Select the Allow Anonymous Access radio button and select Cloud Server from the Run on drop-down list. Applies to refers to the object associated with the process input. The objects displayed in the drop-down list are the process objects that you defined separately or generated in a defined connection. Select the customer information process object that you created earlier. You don't need to add any input fields for this process. In the Output Fields tab, we'll add output fields as shown here. Add an assignment step between the start and end steps and call it Assign Output. In the Assignments tab, click Add Field, select Customer ID and set value to Field Customer ID. Similarly, set values for the Customer Full Name and Customer Phone fields as shown here. We have used XQuery Concat function to obtain full name of the customer. Save and publish the process. Go to Process Properties and click View Swagger File to view the service definition. Note the input and output for this service. Click Copy to copy the service URL. Paste the URL in the Postman REST client. Select Post from the list and enter the input request as shown here. Click Send. The result is displayed. Navigate to the Application Integration Console window and notice that an ID is generated for each executed process. You can get more details on process execution by clicking on the ID link. This concludes the demonstration on creating a process object and using it in a process.